Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. We're making a really awesome progress. Just taking what the game gives to us for the most part. We were able to beat those nasty birds, the Jibber Jays? Yeah, more like Jibber Jerks. Oh, got them. We're gonna be moving along here. I don't know if there's anything else that I need. It's really good that the game tells you, but we need to do some work here in the Freezy Flake Gallery. I don't know if the game puts the Comet Medal in the first star always, but first we've got Sorbetti's Chili Reception. I'm assuming this is probably a boss, if I had to guess. Probably a nice feeling to have while enduring these warm spring moments. There's a bunny in there. He's just hanging out. And it's Luigi. I don't know. We have not had the chance to see what rock Luigi looks like. So, that's right. Luigi time. I don't know why the game has to tell you every single time you use him, but just in case it's your first opportunity, I suppose. Here's Rock Luigi. You know, this big old goofy head. I like it. Got a feeling this is going to go horribly for us. Just a hunch. Okay. Using Luigi could put us between a rock and a hard place, so we'll find out. I don't know if we need coins, probably not. Let's talk to you. Hello? Hello, sir? There's a snow monster with a red nose out there. Is it Rudolph? Is he being rude again? Rude dog? Okay. Here at D-Mike Industries, we pride ourselves on patriarchal jokes that may or may not land. And if you don't like them, well, that's too bad. Because I need to stop it. All right. So apparently getting in the launch star depletes our rock power up, power up. But we were successful at gambling. And actually, I have burned through quite a few lives lately. So let's go ahead and restore the pile. Back to the pile. Okay. So I do believe that we need to squish some of these Goomba statues. Whoa. And you can use these ground boogers if you need to. Or the rock power up, which is more preferable for me because I can just get crazy, turn into a bit of a snowball. That's fun. Where in the good gosh dang are the rest of them star chips? I ain't seeing them. Eventually we will have to come back because it doesn't seem like I got the... I mean, obviously I didn't. I have not obtained the Comet Medal from the first star, so we will return eventually and get that. This music is very relaxing though, very joyous. Not really a huge wintertime fan. I mean, I don't mind wintertime in terms of the weather. It doesn't bother me. Some people get really upset about it being cold and windy and stuff, but I'm a pretty hardy dude. So, NBD for me. What do you gotta say for yourself? Can you find them all, boy -oing? I don't know where that final one is, though. Oops. And we'll check out that pipe in a minute. Can we roll back up the hill? That'd be convenient. Nope. The game's like, why would you want to do that? It's a little slippery out here. Combine that, combine. Combine that with the ice physics of Luigi. And, uh, well not ice physics, the slip, combine, wow. Combine the slipperiness of Luigi with ice physics and you've got yourself. Slippery time, okay. Let's check this pipe real quick. Always check your pipe. This looks like a secret star, maybe? We rolled into the domain of the chimp. So here we go. Looks like this is a, yes, a secret star. So we need to get 500 points or more skating into these weird things. I do believe there are gold ones as well. Yes. And those are worth more. I don't think that you can get any sort of bonus if you string them together, unfortunately so. And I do believe that the order of these things is always the same. So no matter what you do, if you memorize the pattern, you'll be able to 
skate into all of them. Just avoid the the spiky ones. Them are bad. All right, so we do need a gold one. We're very close. Oof. Another gold one would be great. Oh yeah, crush the score. And we'll run into a spiky one for good measure. How about that? That's a high score, folks. First try. Oh yeah. Woo! So rivalry achieved. He will give us the clap and a star. That's a fair exchange. We were burning to have that. Oh yeah. Another star for Luigi. That was excellent day. Sometimes you just gotta casually ignore the main stars you're doing. It seems like there's a lot of stars in this galaxy in particular. Yes, Luigi, we know. Thank you, you can go now. You're excused. Go back to having your controller unplugged and to thinking you're playing. That was actually me, so I probably shouldn't, like, make too much fun of that. Growing up, I was the youngest, so I was usually in the, uh... Usually in the unplugged or the Mad Cat's controller. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can find that. See if we can... Oop! That was me smacking my Wiimote on my, my desk. Well done, me. Ow. All right, let's see if we can find that Comet Metal. I don't know where it is. I've got a feeling it's probably, like, in, uh... In one of these statues, if I had to guess. That seems pretty reasonable. There isn't a ton left of this level once you finish it. Well, once you finish this part. Wow. There isn't a ton left in the level when you finish it. Words to live by. Copyright D-Mike Industries. All right. There's a pipe. I don't know if you can do the chimp thing early or not. Can you? Oh, you can. You can do this whenever you want. That's neat. Well, we don't need to do it again because screw you. All right. So that... Star is available at any moment. Whenever you want, whenever you're feeling spicy. Let's go ahead and get back up there. It is kind of annoying that they did not put a fire flower power up down the hill. Thank you, game. Whoop. Okay, I would like to be able to move a little faster. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that heckin' metal is. We'll find it, though. I feel like I might have seen it on the... in the big area that we have up here with all the cubes and whatnot. I think I just might have not cleared this out. It's probably in here if I had to guess. That's a fair... fair set. Oop! <laughs> Why'd you take down the, the guardrail? That's rude. Alright. So let's blow up all these blocks. See if it's stuck somewhere inside. Like a wonder ball. I wonder, wonder, wonder what's inside. And you can only break these with the fire flower. So there it is. And I do believe we have to finish the level as well. So one more use of the fire flower should do it. Okay. Hit this pipe, this nice spicy pipe. Okay. And then it's just a matter of pushing the ball. Okay. Is there a fire? No. Is there a fire flower nearby to make this less painful for me? Time to find out. All in the quest for a common metal. These episodes have been relatively short, though, just because of how epic I am. And you know what? If they have to go on a little bit longer than they do, it seems like the episodes have been kind of trading back and forth in terms of length. Some of the Donkey Kong ones where, you know, my first tries were taking me a little bit longer than usual. Extending the episode, perhaps. Not a big deal. You guys are vibing, right? You're doing great. Okay. So we did obtain the Comet Medal. It said that there was a, a ghost in Freezy Flake, which apparently is not that one. So we will 
make amends. This episode apparently is all about keeping it cool. So I don't know where that is. Is it here? Is it Freezy Flake? Is that in this one? No, where? Where in the good gosh dang is Freezy Flake? Well, I mean, okay, that's when we were in. Anyway, I thought it said there was a ghost. Maybe I misread it. That's entirely possible. I'm getting old. Okay, here we go. First time, Sorbetti's Chili Reception. We're gonna do this for real this time. Oh yeah, no cutscene. And we'll just, we'll just Mario it up this time around. Luigi, you, you had your chance. Oops, okay. That was not ideal. Mario slash Luigi rock power up is one of my favorites. I think it's a little bit lame though, that you, that it just goes away so quickly on this time around. Let me have it, just let me keep it. It's fun, all right, so we gotta get star chips again. Probably should have done the monkey. Hit that funky monkey. Another time. Ah, I gotta go back up the hill too. Oh boy. So there's the monkey tube if you're into that. We've already done it. We've already hit that monkey. So we don't need to. But for those of you who are still interested, pursue that at your own leisure. We're just gonna be rolling rocks and hitting trees. So that's what we do here at D-Mike Industries. All right. Oops. Okay. These things are obnoxious. They're fiery brethren, although these guys are kind of on fire. Probably my least favorite. Those are the ones that in the volcano galaxy from Galaxy 1. Oops. <laughs> I guess that kind of worked out. They're the ones that you're on the daredevil run of that level, and if you touch one, then you die. So, very annoying. I wish harm on them and their families, so. Okay, so we have three star chips left. No, two star chips left. Here at D-Mike Industries, we like to keep you on your, oh my gosh, let me finish. I'm trying to make a funny and you're ruining my bit. Oh, I like that sound that they make when they hit the ground. It sounds like you're dropping change on a metal table or something. All right. Can you just get away from me? I don't have time for you. All right, there's only one more place for it to be. The final Goomba statue. I'm glad that it took me until the... Oh, oh my gosh, stop. Nothing can ever come, never can come easy. Here at D-Mike Industries, adversity is all about... I don't know. I was going to say something about being versatile, but it doesn't rhyme. Diversity, reversity, versatile. Yeah, it doesn't rhyme. Not my best work, unfortunately. Whoa. Okay. Cannot see what's going on here. What in the good gosh dang has happened? It looks like we're caught in the middle of a blizzard. There's a pipe, though. A nice, warm, comforting pipe that we can slide into. Gambling! Yay! Okay. We love that. Okay. Okay. Oh. It would have been three Goombas in a row, but I, I knocked it into itself. Oops. Or I don't think... What? What am I? Okay. I'm a little lost here. What are we doing? Mr. Rebet? Hello? It goes right through his head. Yeah, well, I'm sure it does. All right, this looks like progress. And... Probably a boss coming up, but you know what? We'll hold off. We don't want to waste our precious star bits on that. It's nice when the game gives you a free one. The best things in life are free. Okay, so. This looks like the boss arena. Ooh, there he is. Sorbetti himself. I don't remember this boss at all, actually. But I bet he's gonna be on a roll. This makes me think of there's like this little orange and green, I think it was orange and green, ball that you could get when I was a kid that it like would roll all around and like bounce and stuff. It's kind of wild. Definitely reminds me of it. He is knocking all these coins around though, which is really inconvenient when I'm going to need one, I'm not going to be able to get it. Okay. 
That's a nice face. Is that it? Man. Where's the challenge, Mario Galaxy 2? Come on. It's just, like, wildly inconsistent. Some of the bosses have three hits, four hits, six hits. Let's be predictable. That's what I want out of my video games. Something predictable. Don't try to do new things. Don't revolutionize. Just give me more of the same old stuff forever. It's comforting. Okay. So that's two stars? Two stars and a common medal. All right. So I think that's... Pretty much it for Freezy Flake. Obviously, there will be a comet eventually. Ooh, oh boy. All right. Let's do the Rolling Masterpiece. This was actually one of the challenge stars from Galaxy 1 in the green stars. This is the Silver Chomp Grudge Match. I don't know if this one is as difficult or if it's in the same vein, but it's a rolling ball thing. The challenge is a little different. Ooh, I don't know. That did not look like the way that's supposed to look. That's okay. We're having fun, that's all that matters. All right, does it do the same sound when you hop on the ball, huh? Okay. No, I don't want to talk to you. Great, thank you. Oh my gosh. Let's get on the ball. Okay. Hold your Wii mote straight up. Great. Smoosh things. Okay, great. There it is. Boop, boop, doo, doo. That's the sound of uh, anxiety and stress. Boop, boop, doo, doo. Okay, so we need to roll around this entire little area. I don't know where exactly. Okay, we're trying to get the key. The key! So we're in green zone. We need to go back to red zone. This is oddly more responsive than when I played this on Switch, so not so bad. It's that Wii Motion Plus technology, guys. That's what it is. It's ahead of its time. Okay. That's all they give you? Oh wait, what's there's probably a comet metal back there. Hold on. No, 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 there's not. It's just like oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's too bad. Also, I bet the Comet Medal is actually on the first thing, if ever, so I'm definitely going to probably have to come back and do this again. You know what? Might as well grab Star Bits. I feel like I'm going to snap my wrist when I'm doing this. It's just very awkward having to contort myself like this, and there's all these Star Bits that I can't get because I'm not even... Ugh. I just praised the responsiveness, and I'm taking it all back. Oh, it's like a giant ruler. I get it. All right, actually, I think I see the comet metal on here. It didn't load right away. There it is. Okay, so I don't have to come back yet, but we gotta go quick. Like Sanic. I make that joke every time. Speaking of predictable things, okay. Here, DMIC Industries, we want you to feel comfortable in the jokes that are being made, the bits that are existing, whether they be jokes or star bits. So we try to keep things unoriginal. For your health, okay. So there's a lot of star bits. You got at least 50. That's pretty good, okay. So now we have to play a little bumper ball with the silver chain shop here. See ya, bye! Got him. Oh man, he should explode into candy too. It's nice that they give you this little, uh, little ramp. But still no more star bits. I want more star bits. The star is nice, but star bits are nicer. Okay. Whoop. Let's go ahead and suggestively climb the star pole for our reward. That is number 47. We got one more for the day. Another Comet Medal, of course. Slowly replenishing our star bits. And... Okay. I wasn't expecting to do that one, but we already did kind of do a boss, and it would be a little weird to do a new one. So let's go ahead and 
Ooh, maybe Luma gets a letter. Here we go. To my lost Luma. We worry about you, you dummy. But we know you're safe with your new friend. The stranger that you just went and decided to go around the galaxy with. I hope the attached item was helpful. May the star shine down on you. What's the item? 50 star bits? No return address. Well, I guess we'll just have to take that and bank it. Here we go. Go ahead and zoom out. We'll do the next boss another time. Which one is the... Is it this one? Is this where the comet is? Is this the fiery flotilla? No. Oops. I think it's World 1's boss. Okay. Oh my gosh, Wiimote. I talked you up so much, and you are just letting me down time and time again. I'd like to bring you to my funeral someday, because you're always good at letting me down. Alright, here we go. Prankster Comet of the Fiery Flotilla. I think this one is a Speedster Comet. Yes. Fiery Flotilla. Speed run. I feel like that is... It's definitely Flotilla, but... That's one of those few words that I think has origins in Spanish. And normally the double L makes the E sound, but not this time. Wait, what? Do we have to kill Gobblegut first? I wasn't expecting Or maybe we just have to kill Gobblegut. I thought we are going to actually have to do the level. Alright, so we got two minutes to kill Gobblegut. Same fight as before. We just got to make a little bit more haste. Come on, boy. Chomp the ground. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Boop. Got him. Boop. Got him. Boop. Got him. That's 50% of the fight done in the first 30 seconds. Oh, he made it. But I want to get them sturbits. Oh, they're gone? <gasps> That's rude. Game. Come on. All right. So as we remember, he'll chomp the ground. Apparently twice this time, and then he will start burrowing like a ding dong. All right, come on, show me your pimples. There's one, two. Oops, get up! Come on, Mario. Well, I'm not getting to this cycle. At the very least, though, we got some star bits out of it. I did not know that they disappeared. That sucks, but that's okay. Cause we are taking Gobblegut to task right now, baby. All right, so I think it's the fifth one that we missed. Where is it? There it is. Boom. Got him. You better not make my star bits disappear after you're dead this time, sucka. I love that face, though. That should have been the thumbnail, but I didn't think of it. That's fine. We'll take that. Man, we're just cruising through this game. So don't you... Don't you dare steal my star bits. That is... The ultimate betrayal. That is 48 stars. I like that they have prankster comments for the boss levels. That's pretty neat. Woo, that's a galaxy complete. I think we actually finished World 1. Maybe? And there's the prankster comment for the rolling masterpiece. We'll come back to that one, obviously. Yeah, let's check. Oop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. World 1 in the books. That's complete. Feeling pretty dark. Oh, so we've got a letter first. One moment. A letter for me. The Manual of Secret Techniques. Jump and spin. Jump and spin. While jumping and spinning in midair will show you all sorts of secret places. So it says the wisdom of the bunny tribe. Boyoing. Wow, thanks. So useless information and no reward. 100%. Do not care. Let's go ahead and deposit all of our juicy bits. We were close to 2,000 last time, so we got a bit of a ways to go. And we will replenish them in time. So there we go, World 1 complete. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll see you next time. Bye.